Erin Keo is another one that um, she came in and she fit in right away. I think you, you look at, at Emily Hurd and some of the players in that class, and I remember about a month in Erin Keo's transfer, and she was buddy buddy with them right away, <laughs> which is tough to do when you come in midseason. But Erin um, Keo is hilarious. She keeps us laughing. Yeah. She's got a great personality. Um, she gives the coaches a hard time, which I appreciate. Always like a good, uh, <laughs> good practical joke. But again, just another good teammate. Unbelievable tournament when we were in Chicago one year for the Big Ten tournament. Her whole family was there. And you just started to see her coming into her own. So she arrived here. She didn't have enormous expectations. But now she's comfortable. And now she's confident. And now she can give us valuable minutes. And uh, when you're going through a tough Big Ten season, that's gold. One of your best friends on the team, Aaron Kehoe, um, you guys are seen dancing during every warm-up, along with Emily Hurd. How is, what's something special that you always remember about your guys' friendship? Um, <laughs> Aaron has the ability to make me laugh at any moment. I could be as heated for whatever reason, angry, like in my own head, and I look at her and she'll make me buckle over die laughing. And I know that we have that special bond and it's gonna continue for many, many years after we leave Penn State and I'm so grateful to have her in my life. Um, when Erin came freshman year, I think she was exactly what our class needed. Um, she was so funny and fit in right away. She didn't miss a beat being on the team for, or not being on the team for a semester. Um, she's a long story, I was my best friend in the entire world. I can go to her about anything on, off the field. She is always making me laugh. Um, Taylor, uh, Aaron, and I, are, we call ourselves the trio. And <laughs> we've done many fun things together, including um, pre-warm-up dances to fun trips to New York for girls' weekend shopping. <laughs> um, yeah, Aaron is, there's just no words to describe <laughs> that girl. She is one of a kind and is the Again, one of the best friends I'll ever have um, is the funniest person I've ever met and could bring a smile to anyone's face. So coming up on your guys' last game at Penn State, um, last couple times on Jeffrey Field, talk about your Penn State experience. Um, well, as most people know, my Penn State experience has been different from everyone else's just because I transferred in after my freshman fall. But sitting in me and like Michael Cole and coach, and they, Michael Cole said like, it was the best experience he's ever had and like the best cho decision he's ever made with coming here and like I honestly thought he was crazy but now looking back and having my last game on Sunday at Jeff on Jeffrey Field like I completely agree with him and like understand what he was saying at that point before when I was like 18 and I had no idea what was going on and I wanted to transfer and I don't know it was just it was a whirlwind when I was transferring and now like I just look back and I on all the experiences I've had and like I'm so happy with the decision I made and I couldn't have made a better decision coming here and all the friends and people I've met, it's been an unreal experience and I'm so glad that I took the leap to come here and coach let me. So again, last couple games on Jeffrey Field, what is your favorite moment at Jeffrey Field? My favorite moment that I will probably never forget will be when Maddie Evans scored in the first, I think it was 30 seconds of West Virginia. And just leading up to that game also, like they were just staring at us, watching us <laughs> warm up and we like kind of looked over and like felt awkward almost because they were literally staring at us. And we came out and Maddie Evans scored and I can like instant replay it in my head and like her celebration just like <laughs> running around the field, like sprinting by people. Like that was one like the coolest moment on Jeffrey Field, I think. And then, I mean, there's a bunch that I could name off, but that's definitely one that we'll always, I'll always remember forever.